Hi! Today we're going to learn how to get your game in sync with the latest builds of the engine. You should get your game in sync whenever you want to upgrade it to a newer version of the engine or when you want to play it on Android. Getting your game in sync with the latest version of the engine means updating the executable file and updating the scripts and assets that come with it. In order to demonstrate the process, I'm gonna use Speedy the Roller Skater, a game created by community member SciFigMaster91. Speedy the Roller Skater was released back in 2021 and was created using version 0.5 of the engine. We're gonna need two things, the game and the latest build of the engine. I'm gonna go to gamejolt.com and search for Speedy the Roller Skater. We're gonna get this game in sync with the latest build of the engine. Let's download the game and extract it to our file system. Now I'm gonna access forum.opensearchd.org and download the latest development build of the engine. Okay, so I have extracted both files to my file system. Now, how do we synchronize things? I've seen people do this, select the files of the game and drop them into the folder of the new engine. Do not do this. When you do this, you're moving old scripts and assets to the new engine. This will cause bugs and undefined behavior. I have also seen people do this. Select the executable file of the new engine and drop it into the folder of the game. Do not do this either. The new engine should run with the new scripts. If it doesn't, you see bugs and will likely experience undefined behavior. In order to get the game in sync with the latest build of the engine, we're gonna use the OpenSurge import utility. So now let's open the folder of the new engine, go to source, misc, goodies, and let's double click this file called import game. This is for Windows users. It will run the engine with a special parameter called import wizard. I'm on Linux, and so I'm gonna use the command line directly. Now you should see this message. Welcome to the OpenSearch import wizard. I will help you import your OpenSearch game into this version of the engine. In other words, this tool will do the heavy lifting for us. Now it tells that the import wizard should only be invoked from a clean build of the engine. We're doing exactly that. It also asks you to backup your game. Definitely make a backup. I declare that I made a backup of my game. My backup is stored safely and I can access it now and in the future. Agree? Yes, I agree. Now it asks you, where is the game? Let's locate the folder of Spirit the Road Skater in our file system. Note that the OpenSurge executable file is inside this folder and not inside any of its subfolders. I will import Speedy the Roller Skater. Are you sure you want to continue? Yes, I'm sure. Now you can see the game being imported. Your game is now in sync with this version of the engine. Good. It is possible that you will see some of your changes missing. If this happens, you have to adjust a few things. It basically asks you to keep your assets, like your images, your scripts, separate from those of the base game. If you change those assets, the import utility will bring back the originals of the base game, and so you lose your modifications. The originals will be brought back so that the game gets in sync with the new engine and so that the updated versions of the assets and of the scripts become available. Now it gives you some tips on how to keep your assets separate. 
do not modify the images of the base game. Use the Sprites Overrides folder. This is explained in detail in the OpenSearch wiki. Do not modify the search script objects of the base game. Clone the objects, change their name, and save them as separate files. And you can see other tips that will help you keep your assets separate. Now you can check these logs to see exactly what the import utility did. Now let's click this file here to open the mobile version of the engine. The mobile version did not exist when Spirit the Roller Skater was released back in 2021. Here is the mobile version of Speedy the Roller Skater. You have never seen this before. Here is the title screen. It's working pretty well. Now, this menu does not look like the one in the original game. That is because scripts of the base game were modified directly and the import utility brought back the originals. If you see changes missing in your game, you should correct them using the tips provided by the import wizard. In any case, it's all still working and we can play. I'm gonna play a bit with the mobile controls. And look, the new pause screen, which did not exist in 2021, is now available. In this video, we learned how to use the OpenSearch import utility to get a game in sync with newer builds of the engine. I hope you liked this video and this utility, and see you later!